Hi folks, this is Donnie D. <clears throat> Most of the time when I do a video, I do it about one of my hobbies, uh, woodworking or carpentry or RC helicopters, mostly firearms. But every now and then I'll see a tool or a, a product or something like that, that that I really like a lot, that serves my purpose well. <clears throat> and I'll try to make a video to share it with you in case you uh, see that you might have a need for the same item. Uh, <clears throat> the type of work I do requires me to kind of get in the dirt a lot, and sitting on the ground, crawling around on the ground, uh, crawling under houses and stuff like that. And I would get a lot of dirt and grit and, and sand and stuff like that in my pockets and it would get into my wallet. As a matter of fact, uh, <clears throat> several years ago when I got my first ATM card, I ended up having to replace the card about twice or so in like about a six month period because the sand and grit was wearing the magnetic strip down to where it wouldn't work. So anyway, I got to looking around for something that would work, and I found this guy a good long while back. Actually, I found another one that's a little same brand, same deal, just a little bit smaller. It's called an Aluma Wild. I think I got it at Walmart. It cost about 20 bucks, and uh, it worked pretty good. But I'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, it didn't work well I'll go ahead and tell you about this it worked okay but there were four things I did not like about it first of all it's made out of metal and it's really slick so it has a tendency to want to slip out of your back pocket uh, really easily if you're not careful it'll you'll lose it the second thing is it has a hinge back here and I had to replace on both of the wallets I had to replace the pin in it uh, with some stiff wire because the, it would break or slip out <clears throat> the other thing is because it's solid and made out of metal, it has a tendency to get dented up and bent up real bad. And you can see where it's starting to bend apart here and it's got a few dents in it. I don't know if you can see them in this light or not. But the biggest thing I didn't like about it was it's fixed in its size in that you can put a certain amount of stuff in it, but if you end up with some extra receipts from a shopping trip or you have to write some notes to yourself, whatever you might put in your wallet extra, uh, you couldn't put so much in it and it would get full and it would want to pop open on you. You'd shut it and it would pop open. So I said, I got to find something better. So I just happened to be on Sportsman Guide about a year ago looking for something else and somehow I came across this guy. It's called an RFID leather wallet. Um, uh, it's on, like I said, from Sportsman's Guide. You can probably find it some other place, but that's where I found it. Uh, it cost me $17.99 because I'm a member of the Buyers Club. Regular price is $19.99. Not bad for a wallet. And I'll be the first to admit, it's not pretty. It's pretty much butt ugly, kind of like me. But it serves the purpose that I needed it for perfectly. It's very utilitarian. It's not a designer wallet. You're not going to be showing it off to your friends. Hey, look at my, my fancy wallet. It's just a plain old wallet. About as plain as you can get. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, I've got stuff in it, so but compressed down, it's about the size of what most folks' wallet would be. A little bit thicker than this thing. But like I said, this wouldn't hold much. I'll uh, show it to you. Uh, it's got two zippered compartments and a little uh, pocket here, for a windowed pocket here where you can put a license or something. I don't use that. But on this back side here, this is the side that I keep my driver's license and some ID cards and stuff like that and some other information that I keep in my wallet all the time. It's got like 11 of these compartments in it. <clears throat> Over on the other side where I keep all my big bucks that I carry around with me all the time. Right now I've got a whole dollar in it. And that's pretty pathetic for a grown man to have one dollar in his wallet. But this is also where I put receipts and temporary stuff in it that I'll clean out about every week. But it allows me to really load this thing down if I need to because, as you can see, it'll expand pretty good and thick. I don't keep it that thick because I like to kind of keep it as thin as possible. But, <clears throat> but this answered the, uh, the problems that this one had. First of all, it's made out of leather, so it's a little bit stickier. It's not doesn't have the, a tendency to want to slide out of your pocket. You don't have any hinge back here or any pins to worry about breaking. Uh, it's flexible so you don't have to worry about it getting bent out of shape or dented or, or breaking or anything like that. But the main thing is that it's, it's thin enough to be comfortable but it will expand out if I need it to for a day or two while I've got a bunch of junk in here. <coughs> um, it'll hold all I ever need, no problem. 
Um, the one thing I was a little bit concerned about with these zippers, but I've had this thing for going on a year now, and so far they've held up just fine. But even if they break and I can't fix them, uh, it, for, for $17.99 I'll throw it in the garbage and order me another one. Can't hardly beat that. Uh, good thing about both of them, uh, and this, I'm not putting this wallet down. It's okay if, it's, if it'll suit, suit your needs, but it, it just wasn't what I needed. But both of them are RFID wallets or RFID protected. That means that some lowlife can't walk up behind you with a scanner and try to steal your ID or steal your credit card numbers. Uh, unfortunately, in the world today, I guess it's been that way, but it seems to be worse in the last few years. It's, it seems like at every place you turn, there's some lowlife trying to take something that doesn't belong to them. And I'm trying to keep them from taking anything of mine. But anyway... Uh, just thought I'd share it with you in case it's something that you may uh, be interested in and may, may uh, uh, serve a purpose you got. And maybe the video will be helpful to you. But for, anyway, for right now, uh, for Donnie D's RFID leather wallet, this is Donnie D, and I'll uh, see you later. Bye.